Son. Uh, uh, my name is Steve Wheeler. I'm come, I've come down from North County in Escondido. Uh, I am certainly representing myself as a patient advocate, and I think for Mr. Walters, uh, yes, I think you're the best guy I can identify there might comment on some of what I see as law enforcement issues within the county. I'm sorry. Uh, can you speak to uh, law enforcement issues in the county? To some degree, yes. I, I hope to get up here on some other issue, but it was important to me to educate those who may be unaware of what I perceive as clearly an environment of fear that the San Diego County law enforcement is has is currently involved in and remains ongoing with Operation Greener X, etc. And I'm wondering, first a couple questions that all related to the same, are you aware at all of the community of fear that exists within the medical cannabis community amongst holy law-abiding citizens and can you also, here's a very important thing that I run into by following some of the recent court cases uh, associated with Operation Greener X regarding the training of the narcotics detectives, sir. Uh, it was brought up in court testimony within the last 60 days that the San Diego narcotics detectives, uh, part of their training involves attendance at and or receipt of and training off of documents produced by the uh, California Narc Narcotics Officers Association one of which is, and it was testified in court, is their document, uh, Marijuana as a Medicine. I would offer you that if you read this, I'd be surprised if there's anybody in this room who would say that training document for our guys who carry the guns is completely contradictory to California state law. <coughs> Clearly, its first sentence in it is, Marijuana is not a medicine. It goes on to justify that position but I would offer you that it's pretty clear by the name of our Medical Marijuana Program Act. The state has recognized it, the people have spoken, sir. So if you could comment all on your awareness of the community of fear and the fact that it seems to me that our narcotics detectives are directly taught contrary to our law, sir. I appreciate any comment. Thank you. Well, as far as the community of fear, I, I couldn't address that. I, don't know if there is or it is not one. Um, frankly, given the fact that uh, there are, I guess, some pending cases, that I suppose if you were in the business of um, selling marijuana outside the scope of Prop 215 and SB 420, then yeah, I, I can understand why there might be some fear. But as to specifics, I, I can't. Um, unfortunately, I know that the Green RX cases, the um, the marijuana cases that are now pending, I know that's a lot on everybody's mind. Uh, unfortunately, because of the rules of professional responsibility, I cannot comment on pending cases. Uh, I cannot comment on pending uh, or investigative practices that have been used in pending cases. Um, as to the training of the local law enforcement relative to narcotics, uh, I deal with narcotics officers on a regular basis, a daily basis. Uh, I have to make charging decisions based on their training experience. I find the stuff that is, is uh, given to the law enforcement here in San Diego County of the highest caliber, and I believe they're very professional at what they do. What about that training document, sir? What, I, it's I a training that. document that is involved in a current case. I'm not asking you to comment on a current case. I'm talking generally in training. When it bec I became aware that there's one tr training document, and the gentleman also testified that he received no more than about one hour of medical marijuana training. And that's certainly a related issue to community fear that what you call our most professional uh, law enforcers, I'm offering you, are being misguided and are performing what clearly, to one man, are unlawful arrests, prosecutions, and incarcerations. Can you comment at least on the training, sir? As I said, I believe the training with the law enforcement, the, the police officers that, that are charged with enforcing narcotic laws, I find their training very good. And as to this specific document, I, I'm, uh, I'm unfamiliar with what you speak. Can I, I, I would hope this